Hi, I'm Sybil Heffernan. I'm a senior from North Platte High School. Choo-choo! And this is the epidemic. Five years old. It was supposed to be a time for coloring, swing sets, and learning to count. But for me, the dark shadow of anxiety always tagged along, watching me on the playground. It was the fear of bearded men for no logical reason. It was the incessant need to spit on the floor every minute, paralyzed by the fear that deadly chemicals had somehow entered my mouth. It was sitting awake into the night, terrified by the evil spirits I saw coming from the walls. They were the way my anxiety took form, and all I could do was hope I'd make it till morning. Seven years old, it was my Sunday school teacher asking my mom why I was always pacing and talking to myself. I was just trying to calm my own mind. Nine years old, it was violently shaking my pencil, each shake as rapid as my thoughts. My mind whirled so quickly it would spin off the rails like a malfunctioning ride at the fair, and I was trapped beneath the bar with no way out. Eleven years old, it was looking into the mirror before going out with friends and having a panic attack because I was repulsed by what I saw. It drove me to the floor, half-clothed, unable to move for hours. Thirteen years old, it was stealing away to the school bathroom stall, watching my hands shake, feeling my heart pound in my chest, gasping for air. Thirteen was seeing myself as a beast, plagued with a body and a mind unworthy of love. Fifteen years old, the shadows contaminated every part of me like an infectious disease with no cure. My body physically ached with a sadness running deep into my bones, making each step a heavy reminder of my own seemingly worthless existence. And when the world told me I had no right to feel this way because others had it worse than me, it made me despise myself all the more. Fifteen years old was the kind of hopelessness a drowning person might feel at the bottom of the sea right before the life escapes them. It was the image of pills, ropes, blood, funerals with empty seats and colorless air representing the world I had begun to see all the time. Fifteen was feeling every last bit of warmth escaping my body and leaving me feeling as dead as I wished I was. Seventeen years old. I'm starting to heal, remembering all the reasons to exist, but still I try to deny the parts of my mind that I know the world does not want to see, because at 17 I'm told that mental illness is overdramatized, that if people would just try a little harder, they wouldn't struggle, and I wonder what's wrong with me? Why can't I just get over it like they tell me to? At 17, at 17 I'm told that at 17, I'm told that if people would just. I'm 17, I'm told to never let on when things are wrong. I'm told that people with mental illness should learn to deal with it on their own because. If they don't, the world will not value them. At 17, at 17, I'm told you should never let on when things are wrong. I'm told people should be strong enough to take care of mental illness on their own. And because of this, we don't see the darkness overtaking the faces we've looked into for so long until it's too late. 17 is realizing we have an epidemic of mental illness in our society and by perpetuating it with fear, pressure, and unreachable standards, by pretending it doesn't exist, we are letting it spread like wildfire.